Yo, what's up guys, we're back here with another One Piece chapter 1096 and it is insane. We have Kuma's flashback, the whole Gold Valley flashback. We have these legends that we put up, we have so much good stuff. Without further ado, you just go on to it. I mean, if you want to stay tuned for it, you have Roger in his prime without his straw hats. Then we have the OG Ro Rocks uh, Pirates. Then we have a garb on a vacation with Bogard, and then we have we see Kong again. We see oh my, such a good chapter. I mean, let's it just go straight on to it. Ch the title is uh, Chapter Ten Ninety Six Kumachi. That's basically Kuma's nickname that Guinea and Ivankov gave him. So then we see Zoro here. Just and it says a fan cover page. It's like Dora being frustrated after losing in a game of musical chairs with Jim Chua I don't know in the forest. Yeah, I guess yeah. Then you go on to the actual fun stuff. Then we see the thirteen special rabbits we did you say well but hence of them. Basically the Sechi Dragons are making this like big game that they're making. Like all the races that they collect and put them in the island just making it so all of them there's 13 13 special race rabbits that the people have to kill and uh, to, to find and whoever wins will be the champion of god valley some very twisted thing and then we actually uh, see four of the holy knights one of them being garling one being a masked man and the other two look look pretty irrelevant to be honest so I don't know what they're actually gonna do. So yeah, and then we, and they actually go to the good stuff. You see, uh, Young Kong saying to Gop uh, that a lot of stuff is happening in Pirate Island, and that they he has to come there. But then Gop's like, no, nah, I'm I'm fine. And as soon as he heard Roger, oh, he's like, I'm going. Like he wants to go now. And then he go to. Uh, Hachinosu. The the rock spirits are there, so we're in a in a flashback. So everyone's saying that they, they, this will be a big incident for the pirate road. Uh, so we go, and an unbe um, unbelievable amount of marine ships have encircled the island. Of course, no one can escape the fact that this all is happening is reality. It will be hidden from history. This is a massacre game. That intends to expel the native inhabitants from their for their resources. There are approximately ten hundred thousand rabbits on this island, meaning the slaves. They're calling them rabbits for some weird reason because they're being hunted. Will all be killed in three weeks' time without a single survivor. Can you imagine that? So this is just a brutal, brutal, twisted celestial dragon way. This place will truly be the afterlife. Yeah, so as if we didn't think they were bad enough. Wow. And then Eva says, but if we survive for three weeks, then you'll be f uh, all be free. Uh, that's what someone else says. The number of, like, Eva says, no, that's not true. The number of survivors from the past tournament is zero. The meaning, since they've been doing this from the void century, hundreds of thousands of slaves have all been killed z with zero left. And then he is saying it's a lie. He, then Eva explains because if we, because of this hope, we will be running for our lives. Where's the fun uh, in killing humans and stop moving because of despair? Stop dreaming that you will survive this uh, game. We are going to escape from this game. And then we see Garling has ten thousand points already. He, I mean, I don't know some of these people. He's targeting the higher valued rabbits. Yeah. I don't know. These people are twisted ass. And then Eva says, Alright, it came off. You have your strong jaws as expected from a shark fish man. Thank you. This is the first time I got praised. The prize of the tournament will be key to our escape. We have Mastermind Ginny here, who, I, I mean, her power is absolutely insane. We later go on to see. That she is a mastermind. She is beautiful, um, clever. Like she can plan anything ahead. Like she has all the transponder snows. So it's she is very smart and she can probably do anything. 
and then it says one of them is the strongest type of devil fruit which um, is rumored that if you eat it you can transform into the mythical as your dragon that being Kaido's fruit uh, is in one of the chests which you saw the six chests before last chapter which grants the, and the other one which grants the ability to send others or yourself flying to a far away island called the Popo fruit is here on the on, on this island so you see a little like drawing of the both so we have Kaido's fruit and Kuma fruit in a chest so if we have those two in the chest we can say we have some other fruits like maybe dragon's fruit Maybe the Nika fruit, I don't know why it'll be there, but maybe. Then we have, we have quite a bit of fruits in the chest. So, if any one of us eat those, maybe many of us can escape this uh, hell and earth and even go through the, um, or uh, encirclement of the marines. No, it's impossible. The prizes are in the dead center of this island. Then we see, I'm a pro at theft. Why tap and comes? I've already uh, broadcast this inf the information on this island in the outside world two weeks ago. Someone might have already received it. But for our plan to work, we will need a decoy. I mean, Ginny is just super, super, super smart, 8 year or something. And then Kuma was like, I'll do it. And then he was like, Kuma, I have a big body, so I think I can survive more than the normal person. Also, I don't want to see anyone else die. So we have a pacifist Kuma here, which is King is Life. And then with Hee Haw, well said Kuma, I won't let you get killed. Let's get out of God Valley together. So he's planning to go with Kuma. And then we see this panel. I don't know what to say. Just look at this. We see all the rocks the main people of the rocks pirates together you see white beard shiki big mom kaido captain john wonju stussy and even gloriosa who is emperor neon boa's uh, grand grandma i don't know shiki's mom no, not that Sharky's mom. Like, why is she here? This is such a legendary crew. Look at everyone together. We see Big Mom. We see Young Kaido. We see Young Shiki. Young White Bear. We see uh, this Tusi who looks a lot like a clone. We see Young Gloriosa. And I mean, I don't know what to say anymore. We go on ahead. The Rock Spiders have landed ashore. What are, so they're basically landed. And uh, infamous fire crews are coming. How did this information basically Genie's fan has worked? The pirates' goal is still unknown. Take extra caution on the West Shore, so they're pretty sure on the rocks where the goal is every man for themselves get a dark fruit in the prize. And then we see the Roger pirates. Oh my god, we see young Roger who looks surprisingly like Ace slash Shanks with his straw hat. And then we see young Rayleigh who doesn't, who looks a lot like his flashback, and Scopo Gaban who looks a lot like his flashbacks. Marines fall back, and the pro and the, and protect uh, the celestial dragons. Holy knights with me. Pathetic. What's even the purpose of the encirclement? We have so galling in all the other uh, god god knights. Ah yes, yeah. So then we see. Reinforcements. Garp is here and he's only for one place. Tell me where Roger is. I mean, it's like Garp only is here for Roger. I mean, this proves that he didn't come here to protect the slaves. He would rather just let them die with the slaves. But because he heard Roger, he had to like show up. Like, why not? And then you see ahead, uh, Kuma and Ivanka have actually got their hands on. The poor food and Eva the dragon food. So imagine Eva with the dragon food, a giant dragon head Eva just roaming around. I mean, that would just be crazy. But then Big Mom just like grabs him and like eats him out and gets the like, dragon fruit. As she, as in the fast track with Kaido, she did say, You owe me for the food I gave him in God Valley. While Kuma, Kuma was just looking there, and then Big Mom was like, Give that one here to Eva. He was like, Eat it quick, Kuma. 
then he eats it, and then he's like, even if just one of us will escape, the Kuma just like munches on it, and then Evo says, it's our victory, but then Kuma looks back, and gets head shot by saying Saturn, I mean, he's a kid, child of the Buccaneer tribe, you're only allowed to become a slave, and to, to die as one, that has been decided through the course of history, are you a great person, oh man, being great, uh, being great from birth seems strange to me. There's no just, there's just no point being a slave from the moment of your birth. If I have obtained any power right now, even if it's just me alone, I want to save as many pitiful people like them, just like Nika. I mean, Kuma is a, he's a good man. He can clearly tell he wants to save people like Nika. He doesn't want to attack like Satin. And they say, that is why everyone of you will be eliminated. Just because he said that, uh, the forbidden word to Saturn is like, oh, you said Nico, that's it, you're done. And then it's like, Roger saying, you see the first con con word actually said by Rock. Roger said, wait, Rocks. And uh, Rock says, don't get in my way, Roger. Um, yeah, so... Ro uh, Ro Rox is trying to get here to do something either. We don't know yet. It could be taking the their fruits, but that seems a bit. Maybe to conquer the island, kill all the celestial dragons, maybe to kill the god knights, maybe Saturn's there, maybe that, maybe just who knows. And then why would. But you have to ask a question. Why, if he's gonna kill them, the celestial dragons who we all hate already, why would Roger stop him? That's the only question you got to ask us. So, we don't know yet. So, we'll have to see. Probably way later on. Because right now, the flashback ends this chapter. It's only Kuma's point of view. It's kind of sad. Ali just shows us the face of Roger. Uh, I mean, rocks. I mean, just show us the face. Oh, no, come on. And then you go back to Sobe Kingdom. There's no other inf other information besides the legendary hero Gop. So it's according to the world's top, the Smogan reporter too. In the end, we don't know what happened on the island. How long are you gonna going to pray? There's a lot of lives I could have saved. Don't be a fool. You could have saved more than 500 people in the midst of uh, chaos. That's right, uh, Kumachi. You're incredible. And then... Uh, the hand has given freedom to people. It's a hand of liberation. So Kuma managed to save Ivanka of him and Jenny and 500 slaves along with him. So his hand of liberation, Sangha Nika, liberation, same thing. Yeah, you get it, yeah. So then we move on ahead. Uh, Kuma's like, because like, you see, it's like Eva is leaving uh, later on. To go pursue something else, probably with the revolutionary army, and Ginny is staying, probably saying that she's Bonnie's mom and Kuma's mom, yeah. And they become the prince of Sobe Kingdom. Some kids bully Kuma because Kuma's a pacifist; he doesn't want to fight back, even it's a bit big body. Ginny beats up the kids because they attacked Kuma, and then Kuma, even being Kuma, nice guy, so he fixes them up. And the pain flew away, and then they're just eating together at the hair. So, big eater. Yeah. So, yeah. It's the end of the chapter. And um, I don't know how to feel about it. We got God Valley, but we had to leave off in such a big cliffhanger. We got all the fights. We got Roger, Rocks, Gob. We got everyone. And the flashback ends there. I guess another 1,000 chapters won't be too much uh, to wait for God Valley again. Who knows? That's it. If you guys... I know we're breaking next week, so we're probably going to get something else like Luffy versus Kizaru. I mean, it's not bad, but... Oh, the Ali's show us Rox's face. He didn't even show us that much. I mean, like, subscribe, comment, comment how many years you think it's going to take to get the other half of the God Valley flashback. That's you guys. In the next one. Hopefully not in years.